Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve simultaneous equations by graphing. If you don't already know what simultaneous equations are and the basic idea behind them, I highly suggest you watch this video first. Otherwise, let's dive straight into this. So the basic idea behind solving simultaneous equations by graphing is we have our two equations, we then graph them and find the point where they intersect. The coordinates of the point where they intersect across, those coordinates are the solution to our simultaneous equation. So let's look at this example. Let's get these into slope intercept form, so y out the front. So for this first one, subtract 4x from both sides to get 2y equals negative 4x plus 24 and divide everything by 2 to get y equals negative 2x plus 12. So that's our equation radiograph for our first line. And for our second, we have negative 4y equals negative 3x plus 7 when we subtract both sides by negative 3x. And then divide everything by negative 4 to give us y equals 3 over 4x minus 7 over 4. <coughs> so, now both of these are already a graph. For this first one, let's graph this. We look at our y-intercept, which is 12. And our slope or gradient is negative 2. So, down 2 across 1. Down 2 across 1. So a line will look something like this. This is not graph um, accurate because, you know, we're not using graph paper, but it'll be good. So, for our second one, we have y equals 3 over 4x minus 7 over 4. So, our y-intercept is 7 over 4, which is nearly negative 2. And our gradient is 3 over 4. So we rise 3. 1, 2, 3, and we run 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So our point will be about here. And that's our second line. So the point where these lines intersect is the solution to our simultaneous equations. And these intersect at 5, 2. So, the solution to our simultaneous equation is x is, um, oops, x is 5 and y is 2. So, the solution is 5, 2. And we're done. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. And if you'd like to learn how to solve simultaneous equations using the two main methods, which are substitution and elimination, I have links right here and here. And I hope to see you next time.